Hello, hello. Good morning. It is a cloudy and overcast day here in Westminster. Just got off of Victoria and I'm now headed to the Photographica camera fair to just yeah, see what's going on. So I'm heading down to the Royal Horticultural Society's like, meeting place, Lindley Hall. I think it is. It's a pretty building. Um, I'm just going to find a cable release and potentially solving a problem for a very sick Mamiya RB67 that I've picked up recently. Uh, let's just say the lens is completely kaput, so I need to find a new one. So if you want, come along, have some fun, and we'll see some fun photographic stuff. So I'm here now, it's pretty, pretty busy, uh, which is pretty fun. I've managed to find myself a 180 for the RB, which is going to be super cool for portraits. Never really used longer focal lengths, so that'll be interesting. And on the more disappointing but quietly exciting scale of things, I did find a cable release, so that's really exciting. I'll just take a little walk around, show you what's kind of going on here. If you're ever in London around May, it's a pretty good place to be. Let's take a look. I guess that gives you a little taste of what the photographic affair is like. It's got a, a very defined demographic, uh, as you may have seen. Um, it's one of these places that is really, really good to go to if you've got a very clear idea of what you're looking for. I mean, I was looking for a very specific lens. It was 180mm for an RB. So it helped that I didn't get distracted by so many things. Um, those kind of fairs are really easy to get lost in and there's so, so many bits of temptation. So if you're one of those people that's more gear obsessed or quite excited by seeing lots of funky old cameras then it's possibly not the best place to go if you trust your bank balance. Overall, I'm pleased with what I got. I even managed to find this not terribly exciting but limp cable release. Sorry about the traffic, London. But yeah, we'll take a little look at the lens on the RB once I get home. And I'm going to give it a little test shoot this afternoon, so I'm probably going to head out, go into town, grab a brew, do some photos. I really shouldn't do this in traffic, but uh, that's on me. And we are back at home now. This is the Beefcake itself. This is my new little RB67. I say little, it's massive. I used to use an RZ67 back when we were at university and I felt those were too big, so it's pretty dumb that I've decided to go for the bigger one. But there we go. Um, I picked up this 180mm lens, so that's gonna be, gonna be a bit of fun to shoot with. I've not really used longer focal lengths, really, at all. I think the last time I used an 85 on a digital camera was just maybe just experimenting in first year of university, so like six years ago. How time flies. So I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of results I get from this. It's gonna be a whole new perspective. I'm very happy that the lens sounds like it's working. I've just got it on two seconds now. Let's hear that buzz. Oh, I've got to take the dark slide out. Pro tip. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. So I will be taking this out, doing a few little snapshots when I meet with some pals later. And I'm going to come back here later tonight and do a couple of little headshots with the huge Mets flash that my friend kind of gave to me. And yeah, we'll see what kind of results we get. So I'm going to load up some HP5 into this bad boy and I'm going to head out, get some shots and let's have a look at the results. This is my uh, ridiculous setup. Uh, I'm extremely overtired. I wanted to take pictures and I've had three hours sleep. So I'm just going to yeah, go for broke. That's my model. She looks nice. <laughs> she looks very upset, but she's nice. I promise you. <laughs> it is stupid. This is my kind of view that I'm looking at. Ooh, hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna click and clack. All right. 